Welcome. Let's discuss the volume of a sphere. Let's consider this sphere below and four cones with equal radius on their base. Now what would happen if we consider the volume for each of those cones and we place that volume inside the sphere? Let's visualize that. Let's see that one more time. It took the volume of four different cones to cover the volume of the full sphere. So we can say that the volume, it is equal to four times the volume of a cone. But we know how to find the volume of a cone. That is equal to one third times the area of the base times the height of the cone. But notice that when we consider the center of a sphere and we consider the radius, that is equal to the height within our cone. So now this expression of h, we can replace it with the expression of a radius. The radius is equal to the height. Well, let's simplify this a little bit. We can multiply the values outside, so that will be 4 over 3. But now this expression, we can just write it as pi r to the third. So now we have a formula to find the volume of any sphere that is going to be equivalent of 4 over 3 times pi times the radius to the third. Let's take a look at one example. In this example, we want to find the volume of the sphere. But we have already established an equation for that. And notice that the only unknown, it is the radius of the cone that will fill in the sphere. So let's look for that value. We are given the information that there is some kind of a plane that is passing six centimeters from the center of the sphere, which we can consider this as the plane in the description. So if this is six centimeters from the center of the sphere, then we draw a perpendicular line from the plane to the center of the sphere. That would be equivalent to six. But now we know that in addition, the sphere has a radius of eight. So that is the length from the center to any point in the circumference of the circle, but we are going to be choosing the point that intersects with the plane. This is the radius of the sphere, which we know that it's a value of 8. And now notice that we can create a right triangle where the side that is missing is a radius of the plane that we are given, which is the unknown that we are looking for. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find this value. We'll have 6 squared plus the radius squared equals to 8 squared. 6 squared is 36. Let's bring down the r squared. And 8 squared is 64. Let's subtract 36 to both sides. That's going to give us a value of 28. And to solve for the radius, let's take the square root on both sides. And the square root of 28 is approximately 5.29. So now that we know what's the value of the radius, we can just plug it into our volume formula and obtain the volume of the sphere. We'll have 4 divided by 3 times pi times the radius cubed, but that is equal to 5.29 to the third. So now let's use our calculator to find this value. So now we can say that the volume of the sphere, it's approximately 620.09 centimeters cubed. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 